Hello everyone, it's me Candace, and Jennifer will be joining me shortly. And today on our Thursday chat, we're going to talk about social media strategies and why it's so important for you to have a strategy when you start posting on social media because inevitably everybody wants to make money on social media, right? Like whether it's to build a business, whether it's a side hustle. Good morning. Hi, welcome. Welcome everybody that's coming in. Her here. It might glitchy for a second, but we'll see. Thanks you guys for joining us. But anyways, everybody wants to make money on social media, right? So, hi. And my light just went out above me, as usual. Um, so, you have to have a strategy when it comes to that, whether you want to build a business, whether you want to use it as a, as a side hustle, you have to be able to master short form content. If you're going to use social media or long form, if you're going to use YouTube. So in order to do that, you have to have a strategy and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. So hi, Jennifer. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Huh. We were just talking about this this morning, right? Like some of the common things, like the biggest one I can think of is posting three times a day is not a social media strategy, no, right? It, no. <clears throat> um, um, copying other people, not a strategy unless you're copying them with an intent to learn something, right? Because you have to learn the skills to be able to understand the skills so that you can make money from the skills. That's how it works. So. And and what is and I want to add to that too. The the biggest thing about copying and why it is not a good strategy is because the content you're copying has already been refined for that creator to their audience. So they're creating something that their audience has already seen many times before. They've loved it, they've commented on it. So that creator doubled down and they kept creating the same thing over and over, perfecting their message over time most likely. And so if you find an account that has had really good success and you just think I'm going to copy it because their content did well, that does not mean it will work well for you either because your audience is different. Your message is different. You are different from that creator. Your story is different. So um, that is probably the biggest reasoning why copying copycat for copycat is not a great strategy for creating content in general. Right. Absolutely. Um, I agree with you 100%. Sorry, I'm just sending the live to a couple people That's that okay. I know are interested. So, but anyways, I agree with you completely. Um, you know, when I, I have, um, I have been down the path of not having a strategy. I have spun my wheels for months and months and months and months and months and months. And months. So I, I mean, yes, 100%. So that's what we're here to talk about because if you don't have a strategy, you're not going to be able to move forward with building a successful, profitable business or a side hustle online. So did you have anything to add to that? I agree with that. No, I was gonna actually ask you, what was the biggest like light bulb moment when you discovered what kind of strategy would work for you? Um, I think when I, I think when I realized I needed a strategy um, was when I was just having too much noise come in from outside sources, um, too much education, uh, too much advice and mentoring, you know? So I feel like that's when I, once I shut everything off and really honed in down my own path um, is when I realized I needed a strategy. But then when I started to learn the skills, right? Even deeper and deeper into you know, the why, why do we say things? Why do we have a call to action? Why do we have a hook? You know, why do certain audios go with others, you know, um, and having a strategy behind all of that, like that has been what has, um, I've been able to blow up 
all of my social media accounts. So that's really what has given me the most success is being original and then having a strategy. And it kind of it kind of works in in reverse when you're first getting started. So if you've never done any of this before, um, you you're not familiar with using social media to begin with. You don't know what platform. You don't know what um, you know what automations you're going to start with or anything like that. Um, it's a very daunting process mm -hmm. to kind of go through, and I think that you know that scares a lot of us. And me, in my experience. Um, I just kind of went with the flow of what I saw a lot of other people doing, thinking that, you know, throw spaghetti sure. at the wall is a strategy. Um, and then double down on what works well. But the thing is, is once you, once you create content based on your message, based on your branding, like right. if you're promoting a product or if you're building your own brand for yourself, once you understand what you want to talk about, that's when it makes more sense to figure out how exactly you want to show up to people on online because your account is your business. Um, yeah. Your, your content that you're creating every day is your advertisement for your movie and, and your movie is the product that you have. Um, either it's yours, it's a course, it's whatever. Um, and it doesn't have to be things. Those are just the most common things you see. Um, I'm seeing so much success now from people who are telling people how to be a homesteader, how to live on your own, how to live toxic free life. Um, so a lot of a lot of the the getting started and the grinding the gears trying to figure out what your plan is yeah. like how to be your own brand that just takes a little bit of practice a lot of trial and error and then always changing your plan like no plan i don't think any of us that ever have written our own business plans i don't think we've ever had the original plan actually stick through all the way to the end no it's it might <laughs> evolved so much i mean the baseline of of my why is right. there but the the business itself i mean it's i mean it's probably been able to flourish more and grow yeah. uh, with the different avenues just because i know know what i'm doing now you know like kind of a little bit <laughs> not a lot <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> i'm trying real hard it's, to it's, learn it's all a learning curve right it's all a learning right. process Absolutely. And I have my lunch over here, which, you know, is my big girl lunch of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> so I'm just going to cover it up. So <laughs> my big girl SpaghettiOs lunch, since my husband's not here today. For yeah, lunch. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like there's so many people out there, the people that we've talked to, they, they, you know, they started trying to learn how to make money online whether they bought a course or not whether they bought products maybe they got a coach maybe they got a mentor whatever but they still don't truly understand the the business and the social media marketing aspect of it right there and it and i have done it like i have spun my wheels for months and just been frustrated and um cried you know like thought i wasn't good enough imposter syndrome all of the all of the things mm -hmm. that you feel when you're just stuck right yeah. because you feel like everybody's um maybe you maybe they said you're gonna make x amount of money in x amount of days right maybe they said take this course buy it and resell it and you'll make tons of money um, you know, maybe somebody says, oh, you can go live on TikTok and, you know, do battles and you can make money from that. Right. But you have to understand the social media marketing of it because your content, your page is your business, right? It's not personal. That's your business. If you truly want to make money online, your content and your, and your posts that you make every single day are your business <laughs> and then your content that's all advertising to get people to come into your business yeah so it, it, you have to have a strategy behind that anyways I, no i mean and that's that's the thing too and the the strategy is um and sometimes look like how you're you want your aesthetic overall to be that is a part of your strategy so if you want 
your grid on your Instagram main screen to look a certain kind of way. If you want to use cover photos, if you want to have, um, you know, a business post on the outside column, if you want to have a lifestyle on the inside column and you want to have um, a random, you know, column, that all takes planning because you have to decide how many times you're going to be posting. What is the kind of content that you are going to have to post to keep up with that style, right? Um, and all of that is is just once you write out what you plan, what you what your purpose is, right? Starting at a starting point, writing out what your, are your purpose, goals. What your goals What's are your goal? What's your and goal then, for this account? Exactly. Exactly. You have to know what you want out of people when you ask for them to look at your account in the first place. Yeah. You have to realize, you know, I'm not just here to uh, make a mistake on accident, blah, 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 but then tell people that it's a test, you know, and I'm, I'm really here to find out if people are going to notice that I made a mistake, right? Right. That, that, that only works on a random moment. And yeah. then if you're trying to um, now, my favorite person that I'm watching right now, I don't know if anybody else knows, is Nicole Story Dent. Um, she's a, a life a lifestyle creator, and she does brand deals, right? So mm -hmm. she comes on, and she does hilarious comedy, because that's who she is. Um, but then she does do, every so many days, a business partnership post with somebody else and the reason that you notice it is because she actually has that paid partnership or hashtag ad somewhere in the content yeah. and but i think I, plan I, for account i think a lot of people's misconception is that you have to have a certain amount of followers right. and you have to be a big brand influencer hey sue welcome hello hey guys welcome welcome in um but like you have to have a bunch of followers you don't have to have a bunch of followers Not, you don't have Call yourself an influencer. You're just a normal person trying to learn the skills to make some extra cash. And that's the or build a business. Either way, all of, every all of these big influencers that you eventually fall upon started four years ago, five years yeah. ago. They started with zero. Nobody who comes on social media starts with a million follows. Like nobody, everybody starts from the ground up. And, and they curate their own account based on what they put out, what they test, and who comes yes. back and responds to it. And that that is a part of your strategy that you have to start to envelope into everything that you figure out. You have to learn how to create the content um, because it has to be desirable to watch right. in the first place, you, right? But you have, to, you have to learn, you know, the picking trending audios every time is not a strategy, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, you have to understand why the video you're using with the trending audio and the words on the screen that you're using are so important and how you mix those together and why and yeah. and who's going to relate to it and do you want to follow do you want to share do you want are you trying to get a, a like an, a comment an engagement of some type uh what's your goals for the post not just your goals for the account it's but what's your goals for this specific post you know, that's, and I think that was the, the, I always used to hear people say, oh, you go through the growth phase and the sales phase or what, what, whatever it was, the growth yeah. phase and the, <laughs> right. And the it's, it's like, it's all followers. You, you don't understand. You have to grow period. You're growing. People are going to come and go throughout your door. People are going to come and go throughout your life. It's just like 43 years old. I've had a lot of people come and go in my life. Yeah. Like they come and they go and, and I learn and I grow from the, and I take, you know, and I give and I receive and that's just life. It's social media is the same way, except you have to look at it. If you're trying to make money, you have to look at your business as your, your page is your business, your content's your advertising. Right. So how are you going to get those people into your business? Right. Exactly. And that strategy. you have to have the strategy and the thing that, in our Facebook group, you know, we, we want to help you understand this. So we do want to have um, weekly conversations with your specific question yeah. and bring, you know, bring the, the idea that you have to the group um, because we are still learning some new ideas that we've never even heard of. Um, yeah. Candace's husband is doing a gardening account and that's a whole new learning experience, I'm sure, to promote that kind of information online. Um, and so the, the goal that we have is to like 
break it down in the most simple form that, that we can to help you understand and take it away and do it on your own without having to buy a course, right? Um, right. The, the basics of doing all of this is just understanding from the get-go what you're supposed to do. And, right. go and ahead. that's what we're here for, to help figure out like, navigate what, that. What, what is it that exactly you want to do, right? Because yeah. the easy button that I have seen in the last two years is people buy this these amazing courses that have all this wonderful information. I've bought a few of them, trust me. They have, they have great information. Are they all have the basic, you know, um, structure right. of how to do it, but like they all have great information, you know, but you buy these courses and then you, the easy button, oh, I'm going to sell this course. I'm going to sell this course, right? Whether it's MRR, whether it's affiliate marketing, it does not matter. That's the easy button. People don't take that education or they're so passionate about that education at that time. Mm -hmm that they're like, oh my gosh, I wanna teach everybody this. But really in the grand scheme of things, it's about so much more than that. Yeah. Like you can teach people how to do underwater basket weaving if you want to. Like you just have to have a strategy on how to do it and you can make money from it. You know, there's so many ways um, that, that once you have these skills that you're able to just utilize them. And that's what our Facebook group does. Yeah. That's what we do is yeah. help figure out what is it exactly that you want to do? What are you passionate about? What motivates you every day? What could you talk about for hours, right? Right, yeah. That was something that bringing up that now, it was really hard for me um, because in the place where I was in my life a couple of years ago, I felt no passion for anything. And so I didn't know what I had the most passion to talk about. At the time I was going through postpartum, so that was the biggest focus that I could think about because that's all that I was trying to evolve out of. And my, when I first got, when I got started, I wanted to reach out and build a community of women who were going through postpartum, um, who didn't realize that they were going through it. And, you know, I wanted them to understand how to work through those feelings and those emotions. Um, and then also on the side, oh, hey, did you know you could also make some money online if you can figure out how to build a brand? Right. Uh, at the time, it, it it wasn't, I was more afraid of my own confidence about being able to tell people what I knew. And so I didn't really follow that passion. Yeah. But then I started to learn the skills about building a business online through using tools that we learn every day. Mm -hmm. and, for me, because of the job that I've been doing for almost 20 years, it's an analytical kind of um, aspect that I take when I look at all these skills, the breakdowns, the explanations, the understandings. Yeah. And for me, that's, that's what helped evolve my personal brand personally. Right. Um, I started in Make Money Online and wanting to tell people to stop working. Um, you can make money through your phone, blah, blah, blah. I fell for that. Uh, like a lot of us do when we first find this information. But the thing is, and this is what Candace kept drilling in my head, is what is your brand? Who are you trying to show up to be? Um, and and that was a question that I was asked a lot. And I had to work through like, well, what what is my purpose, right? So eventually it worked itself into, I want to help show other people how to do this and get started. Uh, because that is the number one thing that so many people, they think it's a scam. They think it's a pyramid scheme. Yeah. They think all of these negatives um, around what it could be because it's out of fear, right? You don't know what you're getting right. into. Right. You don't know if it'll work. Um, you believe that you have to have so many people watching you already. And the thing is, is, is no matter what, you know, the negative feedback is from the internet trolls, it, it is just more fuel for your fire. Yeah, it can bring you down every now and again. Um, but the thing is, is that once you understand you have a function and purpose to show up online, the trolls don't matter. Like right. they're parts in the wind. <laughs> they literally don't mean anything to you. What your goal is, is to reach people. And this was hard for me to figure out the engagement piece. Um, what your, your goal is, is to reach people who, who want to connect to other people and that's what social right. media is and that's that's the part of building the foundation of your business through your account is to understand that you want to reach people as a community 
and as your tribe of people who are like you. Uh, and so that's, that's, that's something that we want to help others understand too, uh, because that was a huge critical, I, I feel like a huge turning point in our success so far. Oh, yeah. Now, Candace has taken off um, super quick and I'm excited for her. I'm still over here trudging along under a thousand followers on Instagram and it is hard to grow on some of these, on some of these accounts. Um, especially Instagram. Especially Actually, Instagram. It's so hard to grow on Instagram without a strategy yeah. and like, understanding the why behind it yeah for sure i agree with that um not only are you fighting with an algorithm that's constantly changing updates that are being made it seems like daily now um you know, you're also competing with a lot of other people and that's not to say that the competition is bad but what you need to reframe that that statement into is to reframe it as you compete against yourself every day everybody else doesn't matter because once you understand what your function is to have a business account on Instagram, that is just you, you know, getting better against yourself, right? right. Uh, and I feel like that's been a huge, a, a huge mindset shift for me is that you drown the noise out. Like Candace was saying, you shut yeah. out everybody who has an opinion and you learn what you have to learn, right? You fill your cup every day with the information that you need to know for that moment. And then just take it one step at a time. Um, and it, it sounds daunting and it sounds scary to build a strategy. But honestly, once you write out what you need to do to reach people, how you want to reach people, what product do you want to reach people for and help them with, right. you know, it helps it too. Um, and and it's not but it's not a you have to do it all by yourself thing. I highly recommend being a part of a mentor group of some kind, multiple mentor groups in the beginning when you're getting started yeah. because you need to absorb as much information as you can. You have to and you can find do. your people. You have to find your people. You have to find your people. Yeah. I wouldn't still be here. <laughs> I wouldn't still be here without you, Jennifer, legitimately. Like 100%. And we met in a Facebook group. Yeah that we both yeah. were paying for. You can join a Facebook group for free and it's ours. So look yeah. at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, like we had to pay for that mentorship group. Yeah. So like, <laughs> but we were, we were, I feel like we were kind of caught in the, the shiny, the shiny starlight that they were glittered in. And, you know, they were the hair in the hair in the tortoise story. Um, right. some, some people, when they start their brand new business, whether they've had experience or not, some people just have a different charisma, a different personality, something else that is attractive that just makes them go viral on the first reel. And it's a possibility. It's a unicorn possibility, but it's real. It can happen. And I think there's, there's the other people that like myself and Candace are, we are, the tortoise in the story. We're taking all of this time, we're learning these mistakes, right. and we're understanding what we did wrong so we can do better and then help others not make the same mistake. And I think that's been so, um, I can't, I can't find the right word, but it's been a, a it's been a really good feeling to understand why the hell was I doing that? And right. why it work? Oh, now right. I get it, right? The best, the best part for me is being able to look um at my own stuff or look at somebody else's stuff and say okay look i think that had you done this differently um you would have been more successful right we did that with one of your reels and the the numbers were significantly different the with the hours right yes. when you just change tweak the hours a little bit and you just yep. tweak the hours a, a bit more and the numbers were a lot different yeah they were they were a huge difference it was it was so um, it was very informational for me to find out that the way I think is not how everyone thinks. Right. And that's the thing, right? Is that your account is not for you. It is for everyone. And you're trying to cast the wide net so that you catch everybody's attention in one form or another. And if that information is good enough, they'll stick around to find out more. Yeah, and absolutely. Learning curve, right? absolutely 100% I you know like your community is going to find you because you're passionate about the topics that you're 
that you're sharing in your content because you have a strategy. And income claims, by the way, is not passion. <laughs> and income claims is not a strategy either. In I need to write that down on my dang list because yep. it is not a strategy. It just popped up in my head is, is income claims and showing what's in your bank account is not proof to the view that what you're right. doing is a real thing. Um, because you don't know where that comes from. You don't know what that number is. That's a screenshot from somebody else who's done it. You know, it's the best way to show proof that what you know is working is by auditing your own account once you have so much content made and then sharing your own personal results in the form of the analytics that that platform gives you that tells you hey your content is working make more of yeah. this and so okay. that's been a lot of my focus on my content my my um i call them business posts and they are the the information that tells people say it louder in the back <laughs> yes girl yes my content, I'm trying to show that, you know, I can take a million view video and I can still have comments and saves and shares because what I did in the video was a plan, right? I decided what I wanted to write down, how I wanted the video to look, and I expected to receive a certain kind of result. And that's what we're here to tell you right. how to do. And I, I'm, I'm missing some comments here. I don't know where that oh, went. I, I saw Jazz. Hey, welcome, everybody. But yeah, income claims and don't make you relatable. No. Like, who the hell can relate to somebody that has a million dollars? Like, not a whole lot of us can. We want to. Yeah. But not a whole lot of us and can. And that's um, false advertising, too, right? Is, for is real. Letting people for real. that you can make make X dollars in X timeline um, and it's easy. And that's right. not the case because there are, you know, like I said ar already, there are some people that have a, a certain quality about them, a certain charisma. They have background that we don't know about, you know? And so there's all kinds of factors. Um, and besides it's an FTC, you know, non-compliant thing. <laughs> and, and just because you're online and trying to make money with the internet, does not mean you don't pay taxes, does not mean you're not financially responsible for fines if you break laws and things like that. And that's a huge misconception too, is that because you're online, you're an internet person, you don't have any of those financial responsibilities. Y'all, you still collect a W-9. Hey, W-2s are when oh, you're being paid by somebody, W-9s are when you are self-employed. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you have to, uh, if you get brand deals, you have to uh, claim that on your taxes as exactly. well. Exactly. So, you know, it's money coming okay. to That's you. a whole nother life, yeah. Jennifer. You're changing over. We're four minutes left here. <laughs> You're switching it up. We need to be closing it out. I got excited for, for a I know there. You, you did. You <laughs> did. No, but seriously, um, that, that's, we, we truly are passionate about helping people yeah. figure out what the hell their goal is, right? Sure. What do they actually want to do? What yeah. do they actually want to do? Because if I hear one more person say, I want to help single moms to be more financially stable, or I want to help dads be more financially stable, or, okay, come on, guys. Let's figure out something else. Yeah. There is something else that you're passionate about. There is something that you're an expert at that you have experience with that interests you that you can talk about for hours and guess what there are people out there that don't know anything about that yeah and you can help them in ways that you probably haven't even imagined yet yeah and that's why you need a strategy and that's what jennifer and i are doing in our free facebook group so make sure that you get in our free facebook group follow both of us it's in that right at the top. Just click on there and it'll take you right in. Um, and then we also do, we each individually post into our own stories as well. If you're following us, check out our stories. You'll see that link is in there. Um, and yeah, please come on in, ask us questions because what we don't know, we want to find the answers to, because if it's something that we need to know for ourselves too, then that's all the better for us. Um, and, and to be honest with you, this has been, probably the best project that I've ever worked on in such a long time. 
And I'm excited to, to meet some new people, yeah. uh, you know, network with some new friends and help somebody else achieve their goal um, because I've been achieving mine left and right lately. So I'm feeling good. I know Candace is feeling awesome. <laughs> All her latest. That's what we're here for. I mean, there's no other reason. Like, like we've been here for a minute, yeah. right? We've learned a lot. We've seen a lot of crap, right? Yeah. So, so it's like, I would rather be able to put somebody on the path um, like, oh, listen, you can do that, but let me tell you my experience. And then you can make an informed decision. Like, I will never say don't do that or do that. But I will say I've done that and here's what happened and use with that information what you want. Exactly. No, <laughs> like, be well informed before you just do something. Right. Uh, it, it, it only makes your, your progress slower if you just think I'll just try it. And then, you know, if you understand why, beforehand makes all the difference in the world amen <laughs> amen um i gotta cut early because i have to go to a physical therapy appointment with my amazing beachside physical therapy in melbourne florida they're my favorite they really are <laughs> i love them so much <laughs> they won't let me record in there they says like they said i can't do it because of patient stuff but i'm like i absolutely love you guys <laughs> anyway have but Make sure if you're in here, if you're watching, make sure you hit that follow for both Jennifer and I. And if you are interested in joining our Facebook group, um, I'm going to post this live to my page and then just comment join. And we will send you all of the information that you need. We truly want to help you figure out a strategy and align your goals um, so that you can make some money on here. Right? Down the road yeah that's that's the long run <laughs> so anyways jennifer i gotta bounce got it. All right. Alrighty. See, see you later thanks see you. bye bye guys <laughs> have a great day everyone all right guys that was, was great i'm gonna post this now um but yeah you gotta have a strategy and that's what we're gonna help you do make sure you join our facebook group